Hey, Adam. It's so nice to see you again and talk to you again. Um, this time, you'd like to know what was the most challenging role I ever had, um, which was uh, an interesting question because it immediately brought to mind maybe stunts or working in um, an unsafe or cold environment. And if that's what you meant, then I would definitely say the most challenging role ever was Maniac Cop 2, which is a B movie, a horror flick. <laughs> and not only was it wintertime in Hoboken, but I had a really bad accident on that uh, film where I was doing a stunt and I was handcuffed to the steering wheel and um, the platform that I was standing on broke off and, and I hit the ground at 30, 40 miles an hour and was dragged with my handcuff. So that was very challenging to say the least. I would say challenging role as in um, trying to inhabit a role. This is kind of a funny story. I was living in London for about 10 years and uh, I, I thought that I got the accent down pretty well. I mean, I knew I wasn't terribly good, but wasn't perfect or anything. And I got a job um, and my my agent didn't tell me that it they it was a job with a British accent and it was a it was just an industrial film where I'm supposed to walk into a bank and say hey you know and I'm here to work on my checking account or whatever it was <laughs> and I did I, I did the rehearsal and the director came up to me and said um do you think you could not use an American accent uh, and I said, uh, oh, shoot, because I, I actually thought I was using a British accent. So I said, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. So I, I did it again, and he came over. He said, do you think you could not use a transatlantic accent? So I said, yeah, sure, mm, yeah, okay, right, let me do this again. <laughs> Make a long story short, darling. Um, I, I was never rehired by that company. Surprise, surprise. Anywho, um, the most, the second question you said was uh, the most breathtaking set that I had ever been on. Well, I'll tell you a couple examples. Um, my very first job was Dallas and uh, I, 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 talk about starting at the top. Um, they had been on for quite some time, and it was the number one show in America. I mean, it was huge, Dallas. Everybody about, you know, JR and who killed JR and all that stuff. So it was the pinnacle of the Dallas era. And I had a tiny role, you know, five lines and under. Um, but it, everything was so opulent and, I mean, crazy. Like, they had steak and lobster for lunch. They had, uh, you know, they had like a a, a gourmet food bar, ice cream bar set up. They had, people were, I think they were drinking champagne for gosh sake. I, I, I swear it was ridiculous. Um, Larry Hagman directed it and he was wearing lederhosen and he was just like, he was having a party. Um, and so I thought that that's what filming would be like for the rest of my career. <laughs> Smash cut to 20 years later and I'm, you know, I'm on shoots in, 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 uh, Belgrade uh, uh, or someplace like that where there's no craft service, no food, no water, everyone's smoking cigarettes, you know, yeah, totally different. So um, that was uh, one extreme. I would say the most beautiful set I ever saw, I, I did not work on. Um, when I was doing um, a series at NBC called Black's Magic with Hal Linden, they were actually shooting, uh, no, excuse me, it was when I was doing Columbo with Faye Dunaway. So I, I was shooting Columbo, we were on the Universal lot, and at the same time was um, Dick Tracy, that film. I don't know if you remember that film, but uh, uh, anyway, they were shooting that there, and the sets were just phenomenal. And of course, I saw Madonna walk out um, and Warren Beatty, so that was pretty impressive to me. Um, and the sets were just, like I said, magical, and the costumes were just unbelievable. I had never seen anything like that. This is probably way before your time. Anyway, dear, um, enough nattering on from me. I hope you're well, and you're safe, and you're happy, and I send you lots and lots of love. Claudia Christian, a.k.a. Susan Abonaba, out. <laughs>